Express may be filing bankruptcy and shutting down some stores, but baby, the stores that are open and online, we doing just fine, okay? The cutest clothes are out right now. I mean, they had some really cute stuff that even I was like, oh, okay, Express, I see you coming through. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I help you elevate your style so that you can be outside all year long. If you're struggling with your personal style, this is the channel for you. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like bell, and of course, turn on post notifications so that you can get notified every time I upload a video. All right, so in today's video, I'm talking about 17 pieces that I went and personally tried on to give you the tea from Express. And when I tell you that these pieces are perfect for summer, girl, you're going to need to stay all the way till the end because every piece that I have, for the most part, with the exception of one or two, they're winning. So let's get into today's video so that you can be cute and be outside all summer long. So the first piece that I tried on was this cute midi black and white floral print dress. Girl, now this is what I will say. If you are a shorty, right, petite, this dress is going to fit a little bit longer on you. I am five foot five, and in this dress, let me just double check, I believe I'm wearing a size small. This dress comes in sizes extra small all the way up to extra large, and the stretch in it is phenomenal. It does have a side invisible zipper to get you in and out of it, but as far as like the stretch and showing all of your curves, Baby perfection. Perfect for a girl's night out, perfect for dinner, perfect if you want to go on vacation. It is just the cutest little black and white dress with the little cutouts giving a little peekaboo of skin but not showing the most. We're still doing the least while doing the most because the curves are curving, the peekaboos are peekabooing. We're in a little cute print so the print is going to help to camouflage all of the trouble areas and we outside. We outside, we cute and we outside. So this is definitely one that I highly recommend. Love it. Love the way it feels. Love the way it fits chef's kiss you can dress it up with a pair of heels whether those are closed toe heels or whether they're open toe and like sandal s type heels you can dress it down put on a, a little cute um crop jacket whether that's like a white crop jacket or a denim crop jacket you can put it on with a pair of casual sandals so something that's flat to dress it down a little bit so you can dress it up or dress it down i probably will wear it more in a dressed up capacity if i'm being honest but for those of us who don't necessarily have someplace uberly dressy to go to i still say this is a dress that will help you feel good look good and turn heads and that's what we out here to do right so you let me know in the comments how you feel about this black and white dress in the meantime, in between time, we're going to move on to the next piece. The next one is another dress. It is a ribbed white dress. So it does not have any type of opening. This literally, you put it on over your head, you slink into it, and it's one and done, right? It is a little bit more dressy, I think, because of the length as it being midi and the fact that it's a form-fitting dress throughout. And of course, white I tend to find is a little bit more polished and elevated and just makes you look more dressy than say like a brighter color or a pattern. With that being said, the ribbed texture of the dress will help to create like a 3D like type of dimension in the dress so that it's not just a flat white, you know, plain cotton dress. And the spaghetti straps are giving summer, you know, we're, we're summertime fine in our dress from head to toe. You could dress it up with some heels. You could dress it down with some flats. Either which way it's going to work. You could even wear this like to run errands on the weekend. It is a little bit dressy, but I still think that it's easy breezy to throw on. I'm wearing a small in this dress and it's giving all of the curves. So if you have any specific like trouble areas like your stomach area is a trouble area or you don't like certain areas in your midsection this probably isn't the dress for you because as you can see it is form fitting throughout and it's going to show all of the curves and it's white so we want to keep in mind that white you know is not that 
thick of a material so it's going to show you know your panty lines it's going to do all of the things so keep in mind the type of undergarments that you're going to need to wear in order to wear this dress and still look polished and put together regardless to whether you're dressing it up or you're dressing it down let's get into these shoes that i've had on with these last two dresses so did y'all know that brian atwood did a collab with express and have a shoe line with express baby these shoes are the truth you hear what i'm saying first of all they are so freaking comfortable for them to be four inches now they are a platform so the fact that it has a platform built in is going to create a level of comfortability is that a word I don't know if it's a word or not but a level of comfort but on top of that it has a padded sole so with the fact that it has the four inch heel with I would say that's probably like a one and a half inch platform I don't know I didn't measure it but I am these are in my cart to purchase um, that will take away from that four inches so whatever the platform is minus the amount of the heel height which is four inches that's the amount that you're truly walking on which then in turn alleviates some of that arch in your foot and the amount of pressure that you're putting on your feet which is what makes it so comfortable and on top of that gold and metallics are currently trending and baby these shoes are just cute they're just fire they are a statement piece and they are a classic piece that you will be able to keep in your wardrobe from now until kingdom come. Trust me on that one. So when you have like those pieces that you don't know what to put with something, gold is a great option. Gold or silver. And then you just pair it with some of your gold jewelry. Duh. It's super easy. It doesn't have to be hard, ladies. It literally doesn't have to be hard. And these shoes, y'all gonna see these. Trust me. Trust and believe they, they come in into, they are coming into my closet. Next up, I have this green romper. So I saw this romper on the mannequin and I was like, where is it? Like, I need to see it. I need to have it. First off, green is trending. And I have to say, I have been on the green. As you can see, I have been on the green train for a few years now. All different shades of green. But this summer... This hunter like darker green is trending for some reason like normally brighter colors are out and brighter colors are trending but this darker green is hunter green and like the sage green sort of like what I'm wearing today although before you ask this is old I've had it for a few years so unfortunately I can't link it but the color itself is one that's trending that sage green like the lighter shade of green and then that dark hunter green on trend so if green is your thing boo this is your season and this hunter green is definitely the one although trending it is a neutral it will go with everything that's in your wardrobe so when you're thinking about what can you put with it girl anything it's a neutral it's gonna go and it's easy and it's breezy it's linen blend so it's gonna be airy it's gonna be lightweight it's gonna absorb some of the the sweat when you're sweating and it's gonna help you feel a lot cooler because it is a linen blend on top of you being super cute because the jumpsuit well the romper it's cute okay it's giving like professional shorts <laughs> like with the 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 what is that called the what is that called the lapels that's what it's called with the lapels and the cap sleeves and the the pockets in the front that's giving kind of like a, um, a military s type of a vibe absolutely love it the only thing i don't like about this jumpsuit is the fact that it doesn't have pockets on your booty because pockets on your booty help to accentuate your butt and help to create shape and don't make it doesn't make it look like it's just one big blob of space so that part not really a fan of but the rest of it I love how it's cut I love how it has that makeshift waistband so it's giving waistline the pockets are super cute like the jumpsuit in and of itself is cute and I am wearing what size am I wearing I am wearing a size small for reference in this particular jumpsuit. So y'all let me know again in the comments, how are we feeling about this jumpsuit? Yay or nay? Like it, don't like it? If you are one of my girlies who are a apple shape, this may not be the best jumpsuit for you. I keep saying jumpsuit. It's a romper. Technically, is there really a difference between a jumpsuit and a romper? I guess a jumpsuit is pants and a romper is shorts. 
that would be the technical difference behind it. But at the end of the day, it's all one piece. The, of course, the downfall to a one piece is the fact that when you have to go to the potty, then you have to damn near get naked in order to <laughs> use the restroom. But that is a downfall. The back not having any pockets is a downfall. But outside of those two things, this is definitely a cute romper. It's giving Boss Chick in the summertime with the blazer-esque lapels, right? And the shorts with the cuffs and the, the cap sleeves. Like the, the V-neck aspect of it allows you to stack your jewelry. You can see that I have on the same exact jewelry in the video as I have on today. I will link this video, this jewelry down below, but I am actually going to do a review on this jewelry. It's by a company called Alais Branch. Um, and so I will be doing a review. So make sure you turn on post, turn on your notifications if you want the lowdown and the info on this jewelry. But I will be linking it down below. But she's got some pieces dropping later this month. And baby, you want in on them. Trust me. But let's get back to this video on Express. Let's talk about the next piece, which is this yellow shirt and this denim skirt. Now, of course, these are two separate pieces. It's not one one particular one garment it's a shirt and a skirt and the skirt is giving summertime like who doesn't need a cute little mini skirt in the summer one we all know that denim is trending two cargo is trending so now we've got a cute little denim skirt with cargo pockets can you say winning <laughs> like we're winning it comes up to about right about my belly button a little bit above my belly button but because it has so much spandex or elastine in it it's giving body body like we don't have the gap in the back so you know your girl is bottom heavy I hate things that have a gap in the back especially my skirts I have a couple of denim mini skirts that don't have any spandex in them so it has that little gap the little space and so this one does not allow for that gap or at least for me it doesn't um, I am wearing a size 4 in this skirt is that correct um, I think that's right. Yes, I am wearing a size four in this skirt. I probably could have went up to a six, but they didn't have a six in store. Um, the skirt was a little tight, but I could have gotten away with it. But I think a six probably would have been like spot on. And as far as the shirt is concerned, it has the smocked backing. So it's going to give a little bit as far as size wise to give you a little an inch or two in the back to give you a little bit extra room in the back. Um, and but the material of the shirt is a a actual it doesn't have any stretch in it so the only stretch that's in the shirt is in the back of the smocking I do like the little flutter sleeves y'all know I live for a good bright color so the bright yellow color is giving summer it's giving I have arrived it's giving sunshine in the summertime like it's just giving everything that it needs to give it's cute to wear with a pair of jeans it's cute to wear with a skirt like I love a cute top that you can just mix and match with all sorts of things in your wardrobe and still get the most out of your wardrobe I tried it with the the sleeves down just to see how it would look I think you could pull it off but I do believe that it's meant to be worn with the sleeves up if I'm being honest but I think that you are for a different type of look while wearing the shirt you can pull the sleeves down to give you a little off the shoulder s type of a vibe because you know your girl loves a good off the shoulder like Who's here for the off the shoulder moment? Let me know in the comments because your girl loves a good off the shoulder. But let's get into this next outfit. So the next outfit is this printed jumpsuit. So I don't know if you guys have seen this jumpsuit or if you have just been under a rock. A lot of people have been wearing it. But I think it's super cute to just throw on one piece. Cute for dinner. Cute for girls night out. Think wine tasting, think like anything that requires a lot of walking and you want to be cute and you want to be casual. I do like the fact that you can dress it up or you could dress it down. A lot of these pieces that I am showing you have that versatility in the fact that you could dress it up or you could dress it down. And this is another one. I will say that I think that this is probably a little bit on the more like have an event to go to type of type of an outfit versus like I don't think I would just go run errands in this if I'm being honest but it is super cute I like the fact that it has the orange going throughout it to give it a little bit of a pop versus it always being black or white although the majority of it is black this is a great way if you're looking 
to bring color into your wardrobe but you don't really want a lot of color, this is a good way to do it. Black, white, and a pop of color, and the pop of color is going throughout the print. The print is going to allow you to camouflage any and all areas that we may be concerned with, you know, any thighs, any stomach, whatever the case may be, the print is going to allow you to camouflage that. For my girlies who are not that well endowed, the fact that it's giving a shape around the bust area gives the illusion of boobs, even if you don't really have boobs. And then, of course, if you don't have a lot, you can always put like a little pad in there to help boost your girls up, right? I am wearing a, I am not wearing a bra in this particular video for this, for this, um, this jumpsuit. But I do think that if you wanted some extra padding and needed some extra room like to take up the space for adding a pad from like a sports bra or going to get like built in cups from like Joann's or Michael's or say like a Windsor where they sell like all of the little add ons for your outfits that would help you to kind of perk them up, bring them up and make them look nice and round and perky where they need to be. Right. So the point behind all of this is. This is a cute outfit. <laughs> Let me know what you think, of course, down below. Let's get into this next dress, which may not necessarily be quote unquote sexy, but I do think that it's giving like romance, it's giving flowy, it's giving I have arrived in the door, look at me, in a different type of sex appeal, right? And it is this green maxi dress. Now, what I will say is for my girls who are not tall, right? I'm five foot five. I have on the gold heels that we talked about earlier. Those heels are four inches. And you can see that I probably have about maybe three inches of um, space on the from the bottom of the floor to the top of the hem of my garment, right? When I take those shoes off, I drop down significantly and the, the dress is sweeping the floor. Now that is a look, but we do want to be cognizant of it's filthy outside, right? So if you don't want to have on heels or some type of wedge and you want to be in flats, just keep in mind how long this dress is in relation to how tall you are. Whether you're a petite girl or you're just hitting the cusp of petite five foot four, five foot five, which I'm five foot five. A petite in the industry is deemed as five foot four. So, but what I will say is this dress is giving easy breezy. You throw it on, it's got pockets, it feels phenomenal, it's giving shape through the bust area and through the, the waistline. It's super cute. It kicks out, so it's gonna camouflage all in through here. Like it checks all of the boxes. And if you loving a good maxi dress in the summertime and it's in green, which is trending. So bonus, bonus, bonus. I'm loving it. Definitely one that I want to put into my closet. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to or not yet because I'm trying to rein in the shopaholic in me. But it's perfect to like run errands in. It's perfect for going to lunch. It's perfect for a dinner date, like a think think cruise like it's perfect for a cruise it's perfect for vacay like this dress is the ultimate the ultimate definition of versatility in my eyes as far as i'm concerned i think that this dress can take you good places and you will look very good when you get there so take it or leave it that's just my opinion i'm just saying i think that it's a dress that's good for the for all areas for the most part i wouldn't wear it to work that's probably the only place I wouldn't wear this dress, but I think I would probably wear it most anywhere else. Up next, I have this white printed tube top shirt that I've paired with this white, well, it's really cream. They're not white, they're cream. This cream pencil skirt, and it's not a pencil skirt, it's a straight skirt. Girl, get it together. <laughs> Nonetheless, the outfit's cute and the outfit is doing what the outfit's supposed to do. now. Now, I put these two pieces together. It's not a set. I do like the print, the underlying print that's on the tube top itself. Like it's giving print, but not in a big maximalist type of a way. It's not like big bold print. It just gives some dimension to the shirt and the piping. You can see that like it has a little bit of a curvature towards it. It's not 
100% a sweetheart neckline, but it's also not a straight neckline. So for those of us who don't aren't members of the big boob committee and have smaller boobs, things that have like neck that create lines in your boob or in your bust area will help you to look like your boobs are bigger than they actually are. It helps the illusion of having a nice bust size when you may not necessarily have a nice bust size. Um, I do not have big boobs, as we all know. Um, and so I like things that give the illusion of, you know, a nice cup size, even though I have a smaller cup size. The band that's underneath helps to create that defined section in your bust line. And then it just has the print all over. So the print is giving a different dimension and a different texture, not a texture, but a different, um, it's not as flat, it's not as one dimensional. So the print is allowing it to have a little bit of dimension instead of it just being one bland color. And then the piping helps to create a little bit of stylization, is that a word, within the garment. I like the fact that you can wear it with a pair of jeans, you can wear it with skirt, you can wear it underneath like a blazer. It's a good add on into your wardrobe. It's not a basic, but I would call that like an elevated basic that you can mix and match it in with other pieces in your wardrobe. And it's a great neutral color. So it will go with a lot of colors in your wardrobe. And then let's talk about this skirt. So the skirt is giving stretch. The skirt is giving a look like denim, but it's not denim. And it's a little, it's lightweight and I love the slit. First of all, slits help to show off the leg. It's giving sex appeal. It's giving the aura of sexiness. But what it really does is it helps you walk, <laughs> right? Let's just be 100. Like the slit allows you to move your legs without having to be can find into a small space and walking around like you're a penguin because <laughs> we're not for that right but the skirt is cute it's an easy way to throw on something other than some leggings throw on something other than a pair of shorts if you're not really a short girl some girls i know don't like to show off their legs it's light it's airy it's giving summertime fine and it's a great alternative to something that you would just normally grab like a pair of sweatshirts, a pair of sweats, or a pair of leggings. This is a way to elevate and take your outfit to the next level and still feel comfortable because I know y'all love that word comfortable and be able to elevate the look and be polished and you can dress it up or you could dress it down. I could see this with a pair of sneakers. I could see this with a pair of heels. I could see this with a pair of flats. So either which way is taking us across all areas of our levels of comfort and our needs as far as our shoes are concerned and still allows us to show up being cute, fabulous, and being that chick. And that's what our goal is. Okay, so this is the one that I really, you know, you can't hit, what do they call it? Bat, bat a thousand? Is it bat a thousand? Bat a hundred? I think it's bat a thousand. You can't bat a thousand all the time, right? And this is the one. <laughs> so this two-piece striped short set, mm, for girls who are bottom heavy, right, or are my more curvy girls, my hourglass girls that have a lot of curves in the bottom half, one, we all know that for our bottom half girl, bottom heavy girls, stripes are not always our friends. When the stripes start taking a turn for the worse <laughs> or a turn, a slight turn, that's a definite no-no. And these shorts, the, the stripes started taking a turn and I was like, yeah, no, that's not going to work. And then the pockets poked out, right? Because they're bulging at the side. That's another no-go. So for us bottom heavy girls or curvier girls, these shorts aren't really the ones for us unless you want to go up a size and then tailor in that may allow you to one have a straight stripe and two have your pockets flat or you can get your pockets sewn down now i'm not doing all of that for these cute little express shorts i'm just going to give them to the girlies who can wear them so my girls who have smaller legs right my apple shapes my rectangular shape girlies and my girlies who are um top heavy who have broader shoulders and smaller legs if that is you, these shorts will work very well for you. Um, for the others of us, that would be me, not so much. I do think that the set in and of itself is cute. I sized down in the vest to an extra small. And in looking at this, I really think I should have sized down just to a small 
I think it was a little bit too tight. But when you, if you want to wear your vest as a shirt, which is a trend right now, right? Vests are trending and wearing vests alone as a shirt is a trend. If you want that more fitted look, I would say take your regular size and then try on one size down to see if it will allow you to get a more fitted look and not be so baggy when it comes to wearing a vest. But if you're if you're liking the vest trend, and I do love the vest trend, I have not brought a vest in yet. I am in the making. I'm, I'm going to, though. I, I feel it in my bones. It just hasn't gotten here yet. But the vest trend is looking good for workforce is looking good for Sundays it's looking good for Mondays Tuesdays Wednesdays Thursdays Fridays Saturdays <laughs> it's looking good for every day of the week because one you can dress it up and two you can dress it down you could put it on with a pair of jeans and like some casual sneakers you could put it on with some trousers and a heel and wear it to work like it's very versatile in that respect I love the fact that like suiting is a whole thing right now but vests are very much so trending. So if you like this set, I definitely say give it a try. But for my girls who have more junk in your trunk and a little bit more in the thighs and you're a member of the Big Thigh Committee, it's a no-go for us, boo. Sorry, we can't have it all. <laughs> While we're on the whole shorts thing, let's talk about this two-piece short set, which I am absolutely loving. Now, contrary to the last pair of shorts that I had on, this pair of shorts are super cute. They are giving all that we need for all of the girlies, right? Including my bottom heavy girls. So if you carry your weight in your thighs, if you carry some weight in your booty, these shorts will work for you. And if you don't carry weight in your thighs and in your booty, these shorts will still work for you. Um, they have elasticity in them in the waistband, so it will help to bring your waist in. And the front pleats are going to help to flatten out the front part of your body, the front section of your um, body. So if you don't like pleats, some women absolutely hate pleats, then these shorts are a no-go for you. But if you do like pleated pleats in the front to help lay the front of your, your garment down and make it look a little bit more smoother, these shorts are perfection now i don't know if you are a short shorts girl because they are kind of short in relation to it being a suit right i wouldn't wear these to work but i definitely think that it's a cute like networking event type of an outfit in the summertime it's cute for you to go to like a brunch with the girls with a cute little bustier and give like I'm a boss chick walking in the room type of a vibe. Of course they're separate so you can wear the shorts separate from the blazer. I love the blazer. I love the fact that it is one button so it's not a whole bunch of extraness going on in and through here. It's very classic. It's very sleek and it's very polished. It has the shoulder pads so it's going to broaden our shoulders. If you already have broad shoulders and you're one of my inverted triangle top heavy girls, this may not be the type of look for you. If you don't need anything that's going to add additional um, width to your shoulders. But for my girls who have narrow shoulders, my girls who are bottom heavy, and if you just want to broaden out your shoulders, a, sh a blazer with shoulder pads will help you do that and I absolutely love this one. I am wearing a size medium in the blazer and a size 6 in the shorts um, and is that right? A size 6 in shorts? That's correct. Left. So if you really like this, hopefully by the time I edit this and put this up, it will still be available in your size because I'm going to grab mine tonight because I did this video and I didn't make any purchases. You guys should be very proud of me. But I am going back to get this short suit, um, that those shoes, and I think there's one more thing on this list that I'm going to get. But other than that, everything else I've left in the store. And technically right now it's still in the store. Anyway, let's talk about this video. Um, so this short set is super cute. But as you can see, I'm not, y'all seen those girls out there who wear the blazers and don't have like a bra on underneath and they look super sexy and super cute? Yeah, the, I'm not that chick. <laughs> like everybody has a lane, everybody has a style and I tried it, it didn't work. So we need a shirt. I found a shirt 
I, this is actually a bodysuit and it has the deep V. It has a flutter sleeve. So again, for those who want to build up their shoulders, this is great for that, right? And I actually put the blazer on over it. And because the blazer is well crafted, you really can't even see the extra material that's underneath there. I don't know that I would necessarily wear that regularly with that combination together because it is a lot of extra material in through the shoulder to put a blazer on over it. But if I wanted to go like from day to night, I would definitely do it. Like wear the blazer and the flutter sleeve bodysuit during the day to work and then after work have just the flutter sleeve shirt on without the blazer and then I have to worry about like doing a transitional period in like a, a wonder a wonder woman transition in the bathroom or in the car while you're going from your from work to whatever destination you're going to because you're outside living your best life I do think that that would be a good combination. But outside of that, I probably would just get a regular V-neck shirt that would fall properly with the blazer. In the grand scheme of things, I love the detail. I love the thick ribbing of the bodysuit, like how thick it was. It has a good material. I feel like it's going to last for a couple of seasons and you can get your money's worth out of it. So definitely a win for the bodysuit, definitely a win for the blazer, and definitely a win for the shorts. Last but not least, I've got this lace white shirt and these pink pants. Now, I'm going to tell you, the shirt I really, really like. I like the shirt. I should have sized down. I got a size small. I should have sized down to an extra small. I like the detailing of the shirt. It's a good play off of a boring basic white button down shirt and like elevate it and do something a little bit different that's not expected. I think the lace, the lace inserts are super cute. They're appealing to the eye. They make a statement. They're giving airy, breezy, lightweight. Of course, you're going to need to wear like some type of tube top or something underneath it unless you're bold enough to wear nothing underneath it, which I am not. I definitely think that the shirt is cute. Now, these pants, on the other hand, not really a fan for my body type. So if you have more of a slender leg, I think these cargo pants that have like the tie around the ankle are super cute. But for me, you can see they're like pulling across the thigh. They're gapping in through the crotch area. And that's because I'm a member of the big thigh committee, right? And so sometimes certain pants, certain cuts, they just don't work for us. The one, those of us who have more curves and have bigger thighs, these pants are not the ones for us. But if you have skinnier legs and you're not so curvy, I think that these pants would be really cute on you. Um, I do like the color. It's giving spring. It's giving summertime. It's giving a pop of color in the wardrobe. And it's just a cute casual pair of pants that you can put on in lieu of, you already know, the leggings and the sweatpants. So if you're in the market for a cute pair of pants to throw on, these definitely are it. Just keep in mind what they're going to look like on your body type before you press the buy button. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. And if you're still here, baby, you made it. Thank you so much. I know this was a long one and we had 17 pieces. So I mean, what is it? Y'all want me to either not show you all of the pieces or you want me to break it up into two different videos. Let me know I'm interested to know what how it is that you would like to watch it in a shorter clip or a longer clip. That way I know what to make next time. But. Until next time, you guys be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button because if you're still here, you must have liked my video and hit the, subs hit the notification bell so that you can get notified next time I upload my next video. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. The girlies and the, the you can wear it with a dah.